The conduction system of the heart is important in synchronizing its cells. The conduction system of the heart starts from this node here. It is known as the sinoatrial node, also known as the SA node. The SA node will then fire waves of excitation and will spread to the right atrium and the left atrium. This will help the atria to contract. The waves will then pass to a different node called the atrioventricular node. Here, the waves are delayed to allow ventricular filling. It then goes down to the bundle of his, where there are separate right branches and left branches. The wave passes along these branches and goes to the Purkinje fibers. This excitation will help the ventricles to contract. The important thing to take note is that the SA node is known as the pacemaker of the heart because it fires at a rate of 72 beats per minute. This is far faster than the rates of firing of these branches here. Therefore, the heart will contract as a whole unit. Now, let's talk about the ECG. The P wave here correlates to the atrial depolarization of the heart. The QRS complex would be the left ventric the ventricle depolarization and the T wave will be the repolarization of the ventricles.